Good morning. Been a busy morning so far. About to start the white foxes. But before I do that, I want to double check these boxes. single so we'll burn that. I'll leave this trap here. I see a few more boxes out there but I want to get these boxes done. kind of table here to hold everything while I'm working. If I don't have anything here then I'm going to pick some up in town. Plus a small hinge for the leg to come down. Just like this here. Something to fold down and sit on the floor. Nothing too high. I think even right there is a little perfect. First fox won't be a hanger. He had damaged ears. He had a damaged throat from the trap. Pretty uh pretty big hole. And what else did he have? Oh, a damaged nose too. I tried to take my time to get everything off uh, to salvage him, but the final decision was nope. This is that real nice one, but don't forget that 330 got him across the, the head. And this guy's ears are nice. I didn't even look at the other one's ears. I should have before I... Before I uh, started to do them for a hanger. Save myself some time. This one seems pretty good. Like you said, when I caught him there, I was like, wow. When I first seen him, they just look like a perfect one. Okay, let's see how the head is now. See if he's going to be a wall hanger or a or a regular pelt. <laughs> Okay, I managed to save him. A little bit of a nick under the chin where the trap hit him pretty good, but that's acceptable. This one's going to be nice, but we'll put him outside till we get back. one. Yeah, I guess I'll have to get those 160s out. Oh, here's another one. Nice. I've got a 
trap out with me. I want to see. What's this one? Nope. Yeah, that's too tight. Yeah, that's garbage. But I wanted to get a. I think these are 160s. So let me double check. boxes of these. For Martin, also. Oh, yeah. And another two twenty. of these so we have if these are legal for Martin which I cannot remember the 160s I'll uh, text Vandermeer right away and find out look at that 14 15 how many wait how many do I got 14 15 16 17 18 That we got 160s and 30, 31, 120. snow they were calling for. Another drawing. This time I'll take a picture of it. Normally I do, but I forgot. Pass the bolts. Twenty-seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter for the what size of bolts are these? Look like half inch. Yep. Half inch bolt. Well, I'm just cleaning out my trapping box. I have to throw 
fill it up with nails and staples and clips. Town washer. I have wire back here, and I have two, two more rolls of wire, flag and tape, which I'm not using anymore because I have my GPS, and I don't want too much banging around in here anymore. Look at this pin. You know we're pulling a big load when. I we'll have to get another pin. to dry and these things can go back in there but not these <laughs> Jesus what the hell was I pulling with that it's a half inch pin I'll throw these sticky mitts out just putting in more staples Nails and everything else I might need. I'm so glad I ordered a few more of these clips. These clips are so awesome. It makes for such a quick change of the trap, not wasting time. And they're not expensive. Not expensive at all. There we go. I think I'll throw a few more nails in there also. If I remember where they are. So happy we have a lot of uh, boxes now. I talked to Dave Vandermeer because I don't have a trapping book here for this season and anything can change, right? And I asked him if the 160s are good for Martin. He said, sure are. So it's good to hear. So now we got lots of have a lot of boxes. We have 24 160s. We have how many 120s? Well, that's that's including the plastic boxes. Um, how many did I find today? Well, I don't know. Let's just say we have um, we have 26. We have at least uh, 30, so we're we're good now. I want to get those all out next week. Cool anyway. Not the prettiest day out there. Could be a lot worse. At least the skies are clear. Just blowing snow. Just packing some of my gear. Take the town and get some gas. Making what? Sausages and sausages. Mmm, sounds good. And off to the line again. Have a good day. I see there's some tracks in front of me. Looks like a white box. Just coming up the south side here.
compared to the minus 22. I just took the screen off of this Martin box that does not fit any of my traps. So this has to go into the fire. And I was going to fix this one, but it's too rough. Yeah. And that can go into the fire. Check out my supper. A cheese bun. Packed with goodness. Jen makes them. Oh my god, it's good. Mm. I was going to heat it up. Make a side dish with it. Oh, I'm too hungry. Well, it happen cold or heated up, obviously. But tonight, it's cold. I'm just burning a Martin box. I have one more to burn and that's it. All those old boxes I made many years ago are done. I'm just fixing my windproof mitts. few months out of them so I can pick up some new ones. <clears throat> I found this handle that has a piece of wood on the end. It's for my grinder. It works perfect to hold the thumb. I think that's the thumb or one of the fingers, can't remember. <laughs> Let's see how that turned out. Oh, it was a finger. I thought it was my thumb that I was fixing. Look at that. Back to normal. That I don't mind. And this one will do now. And we'll have our windproof gloves back. anywhere today. Damn. Minus 36 out there. I don't hear any wind though or see any trees moving at the moment. Let's hope uh, let's hope that's in our favor and maybe by mid-morning we can take off somewhere. Oh, I didn't want to sit around here. That's for sure. The last thing I wanted to do was sit around camp today. Grab some wood while we're in there. Woo! It's a chilly one. Well, I'm going to go outside and do some projects. I'm going to uh, make a platform. I should staple this freaking rug down. It drives me crazy. I'm going to make a platform for my generator because the generator doesn't sit level on the floor in the woodshed. That floor is rot rotten in there. I'll have to do something about it. Where's my coveralls? Yeah, that's going to be uh, nice to get this project out of the way of my generator sitting on an angle out there.
Thank you, Ricky. Should give me a pullover. And it smells like the garage <laughs> when you walk in there. It's comfortable. I like their uh, their shirts, their t-shirts. You see me wearing them all the time. They're uh, they fit well, and they're not cheap. You know, they don't fall apart like other t-shirts. I've had them for some time, and I really like them. I have uh, two of them, and I mainly wear those ones. Like this pullover. Thank you so much, guys. That's my first sponsor. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was fun. I would never do that. That would drive you guys crazy, eh? I don't think I'd ever do that on my channel. Well, the only thing maybe I might do, I. Probably not though. Let's monetize it. But you know what? That sounds like a real pain in the butt to me. There's some two by fours we can use. some thin stuff there but I don't want to use that. There's that old bunk bed frame from years ago. I can't remember where we even got those bunk beds from. But we had two bunk beds in here and everything has changed so much over the years. Oh it's the old door. Right. That'll do. Holy crap. They don't feel like 29 out here. That wind chill is just a slight breeze, but oh my gosh, it bites. These guys have got all the seed gone. So I'll fill them up. I was going to buy them some peanuts and I forgot. Nets and sunflower seeds. I still have a pretty big bag of sunflower seeds, so I'll pop that in. in the butt every time it snows, just have to do the stairs now. Get that done. I'm going to start working on the generator platform. final 2x4s for my platform for the generator. I'll show you guys at some point, but it's kind of noisy in there. There's no point of going in there. I'm going to put these two in and then I'm going to make a leg once I get the height and, and then I'll slice that plywood up to fit in there and we'll have a platform for the generator. Nice and level. I'm going to go check those few traps. I have over here near North Knife River. Might as well, I want to get some fresh air. I'll get the hell out of here. I don't mind tinkering, but you know, when most of the stuff is done in the cabin, you know, I was tinkering for two years getting all this crap done, right? 
I just want to be up there now. Like right now, I really want to be at the tent frame. But that's just the way it is. But it's about 26 now. And the wind has calmed down. And I figured out, you know what, I'll go for a ride. And then I don't have to think about those traps till uh, Monday. Well, Tuesday morning, I guess. We'll go check them again. That wind chill went way down. Wow, that was a nice ride coming across the tundra. Even standing here on the river, it's beautiful. Oh, I hope it's like this tomorrow. That'd be so awesome. And we do have a catch. I'm glad I came for a ride. Been following tracks all the way here. He did step on my foothold, and I could see why he didn't set it off. Just too light. That's another white. Wow. I'm glad I'm getting some whites. I'm going to reset that 330. Lots of bait in there still. We'll get that guy out of there. And we'll head back to camp. Just three traps I have over here. But that paid off. Okay, we're all reset. So glad I fixed those. Nice to have them back. To the front of it, let's go take a peek over here. I have nothing over here. Just drove right over the the set, the peephole set. You could see where he was sniffing it. And it's all good. I could just see that the uh, I was gonna say saran wrap. 
uh, parchment paper. Yeah. I don't want to get off my machine. We're good there. You can see where he was coming down the trail here. You can just make out his tracks after they ran him over. gas line antifreeze in here tomorrow. Just because got a jug of water, that's all I need. That's it out here. Finally getting this white fox done. A good supper. I was texting with Jason today. BC Newfie that is. For you guys. <laughs> Said he uh, got another cat. And I said, well, I got another white fox. That's about it for me. Oh, well, he's still got something since I got back. I'm finding that this knife's better for the feet. It's got a nice sharp tip. This one. They both got sharp tips, this one too, but this one seems to be a little bit better. Right. There. Just have to get used to them. So tiny. I fixed the generator, but there's a problem now. I have it up higher. You know, uh, I don't know, the platform's uh, about knee high. And now, instead of sitting on the ground absorbing vibration, the walls are absorbing it and I can hear it more. Something like that now. I'm stuck in your board. You guys are stuck in your board. <laughs> well, we're really bored. Minus 35 out there. The generator sounds like it's going to die. We're we running out of gas. It's uh, 10 o'clock. Perfect timing. I'm going to hit the hay. It's supposed to be minus 36 in the morning, so I don't know what time we're going to leave tomorrow. Minus 10 on Monday. But I really don't want to stick around the cabin again tomorrow. Thanks for such a long day. At 8 o'clock, I thought it was. Like 10 o'clock, put it that way. Yeah, the generator's gonna run out of gas for the week. So I have to have everything ready for the morning. Enough water there. And my tea's done.
That fellow's running out of gas. Okay, guys. Oh, let me see if there's any northern lights out there for you. I'll check. I'll come back in and let you know. I gotta get my mitts. Oh, I just finished coming in from getting you guys some pictures. And I was just seeing how this grip is gonna work next time for me. I just figured something out with it. So the pictures will be better next time. Silly the way I was using that. Pretty cool. Yeah, next picture should be a lot better. My hands are a bit cool from being out there and I'm not going out there again. So, well, I'm gonna hang my jacket up, put the tripod away. And probably enjoy a little bit of the lights before I fall asleep. Hey guys, enjoy the pictures and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Just turning the white fox. Look at that. That is a beauty. I always turn it when it's still a bit soft for sure. back on the board to dry, finish drying. Yeah, that's a nice one, eh? But I have to put them on my boards because the neck doesn't fit over the standard fur harvester board. It gets stuck right about here. So I'm going to take some of their boards I'm going to modify them, make them a little bit thinner the white fox. You try to pull them down over their boards and they get jammed. Oh, his ears turned out nice too. Very happy with this one. Very happy. I turn him while part of his head is still soft and that's usually first thing in the morning. This morning I was busy and I was like, oh my god, the white fox, but the door was closed in there. I left the stove open a little bit too long and it's fucking hot in here. That's the reason I got up to open the door. Okay. That's it. Beauty. We'd be gone already, but it's pretty cool out there this morning. Machine's plugged in, and it's supposed to be a high of minus 24 today. So we'll wait till that moves up. If we can get the line done from behind the cabin here, right to the tent frame, I'll be very happy with that. I don't think we're going to get much more after that. It'll probably be dark. As long as we get to the tent frame, maybe we can have some tea there and come back and check the line on the tundra. It'll be a good day and we'll finish her up tomorrow in the minus 10. But I really want to get out there today. See how loud that generator is now? Vibrating the whole building. Yeah, she's pretty cool out here. Ouch. She's been plugged in since early this morning.
Okay, let's get out of here.